Welcome whiskey aficionados to review number 106. Tailing 17 year old single malt whiskey bottled at 54.7%. Uh, there we go. Now, just recovered from St. Patrick's Day, so what better whiskey to review than the 106th? Wasn't a big night, a few Guinness, etc., etc., and a few whiskies. We've got our this is what this is a little whiskey live Glencairn glass. There you go. So the Dublin distiller Tailing, they they don't let you down, do they? They're a very 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 solid distillery. There's I've never ever had anything bad out of Tailing, and they do produce some amazing drams. So um, yeah, this is quite a good one. This one is actually finished off in a rum cask. It's a 17 year old, and it was an exclusive bottling. Um, brought into New Zealand by Ash Palmer, so that's for 8 p.m. And uh, he sells it on a site, and I think it's around about $230 a bottle. So thank you, Ash, for the sample. Do appreciate it, always. Um, you know, the nose is very, very different than... You don't often get a whiskey just completely finished in a rum cask, but this... You know, it is quite different. It's unusual, it smells sort of like a, a, a funky, fruity, bright fruity. It's quite powerful. I guess it is 54.7%, but... Wow. I think this probably would be getting as rare as a Leprechaun's Wallet as well. You know, I think, I think we'll be getting down on the stock. It was a single cask. On the pallet. Here we go. Mm. Well, there's certainly a bit of spice coming up front. Um, oh, but it's got that big sort of tropical fruits um, and a dark sugar type thing going on. E even on that uh, second second little sip. Um, the spice just sort of dissipates quite a lot. It's still there. You know, it's like a cinnamon sort of spice. It still sits there, but it goes away after that sort of next next little little tot, if you like. Very, very nice. And then you get into a more sort of dark, caramelized sort of fruits. It's very, very nice, and it's just got that different little thing going on with that rum cask finish. Very, very nice. Very good whiskey. I would give that an 89 out of 100, which is really up there for me, I think. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. It sits on the palate also, you know, it just stays there. You've got that lingering sort of um, mouthfeel of that, of that sort of dark fruits, tropical fruits. Um, it's very, very nice. Value for money, 230. Look, if you were wanting something a little bit special to have on the shelf uh, to impress your friends or to finish the night with a nice something special. And would you finish the night or would you start the night? Because, you know, if you're if you're keeping a, keeping a little special dram for the end, have you ruined your palate until this point? Or should you start off and have something special and then carry on with something else. It's a good question. So value for money, yeah. Look, it's special. A couple hundred bucks, two thirty. I would, I would certainly think it's good value for money given the quality of the whiskey. So, anyway, until next time. I hope you had a good St. Patrick's Day. Slanchy guys. <laughs>